Hey everybody, it's Heidi Swap, and as promised, I'm here to show you how to make some fun decorative candles, and it's really super easy and a great holiday gift idea. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a couple of cheap pillar candles, probably the cheaper the better. These ones, these ones actually smell pretty good. I got them at Michael's for pretty cheap. Um, as you can see over here, keep it with some some light neutral colors so that your designs really stand out. But you can kind of experiment. Um, you're going to need some white tissue paper, a white piece of cardstock, and um, an adhesive, some scissors, and let me show you exactly how this is going to work. Okay, I've cut this tissue paper down to an 8.5 by 11, basically an 8.5 by 11 sheet. And what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of adhesive on the two ends of the paper and attach the tissue paper right onto the cardstock. The cardstock is just going to give it a little bit of rigidity. Now basically I'm ready to feed this through my printer. So once, once this is stuck on here you can go ahead and stick it right through your printer and as you can see the image is going to print out on your tissue paper. Then all you're going to do is carefully peel it off of, it's easiest if you use repositionable <laughs> adhesive, which I didn't do. Um, so in this case, I just trim it off, which is no big deal. And without ripping it, there's the ripping. Okay, anyway, you get the idea. Tip, use repositionable adhesive. Okay, once you pull it off, you are going to want to cut it to the height of the candle. And you can do it just by measuring it, and you don't want to put your tissue paper in your trimmer because it totally snags. So make sure that you use um, just scissors. Then you're going to take your candle, and you know what? I like to make sure that the tissue is just a little bit lower than the top of the candle, so you don't want the paper sticking out on top. So. I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive to hold it in place. We're actually going to be melting it, and that is going to cause it to stay. Let's see if I can do this really carefully here. All right. You don't want to have any wrinkles or bubbles. Take it all the way around, and really you just want it to meet. And so I'm just going to put a little bit more adhesive on. I've also used pins and pins seem to work just fine. And I'm just going to trim off the excess. So depending on how large around your candle is, you can do large candles or small candles, it doesn't matter. So I'm I'm all set, ready to heat. Now it takes just a minute to um, heat it and what I'm going to show you, I'm going to let my heat tool heat up just just a second. I want it to be nice and hot. What I'm going to show you is that we are actually going to be melting the wax and so you will see it um, start to show through. So see, I don't know if you can see how fast that's happening. Or maybe you can see it right there. So you get it right along the edges. And you're going to want to do this all around the whole candle. I'm not sure if you can tell, but you can kind of see it shiny as it comes through, as the wax comes through. And make sure that you get along the edge, and if you just kind of run it, your finger, that will smooth it out.
All right, I'm not gonna sh I'm not gonna do the whole candle while we're here, but maybe if you can see right, I don't know. Can you tell on the on the camera? It, it's hard to tell. You might have to just try it to see it. But what is happening here is as you're heating the wax from the candle, the wax is melting and then saturating the tissue, and then the it comes through the tissue and then dries on actually the outside of the tissue making it look and feel like it has been printed right on the candle. It's an awesome effect. Um, obviously, you can use the downloaded printables from House of Three because they're sized exactly for an 8.5 by 11 sheet. You can just easily print them right through your, can through your um, printer. This is one of the designs that says celebrate the season with the big tall Santa. Looks great on a very large tall candle. Um, and then the little Santa's watching, which, you know, you could always just cut out the Santa face if you wanted to stick that on a little votive. Um, this one is a very vintagey look. Uh, I added some color in it, and then I took, went and took some smooch and iridescent paints and just added even a little bit more color. It'd be really cute with some jewels on there as well. And then this is another one. This is just one of the brushes, just a black and white, um, simple little image and so play around with it you can do anything that you can do to the tissue paper you can glimmer mist it you can stamp it you can type out your own sayings and whatever you want you can even photocopy or print photographs onto the tissue paper and it really looks awesome then once you get to this point you can wrap ribbons and tags and add jewels and all kinds of things so it's an awesome gift and anybody loves a beautiful smelling candle that looks great too for the holiday season so good luck and have fun.